that for my kids. Um, and then in 2002, I guess it was, we became homeless with five children. And so through that difficult time, changed my life. I said, okay, something has to change. We gotta do something different. I want my kids to actually make it in life. I want them to be successful. I want them to continue on in their passion and not worry, you know, day to day what they're gonna eat because that was a real challenge and struggle for us. And so um, it was a point where I said, okay, victim or overcomer and push on to achiever. What am I gonna do? You know, what am I gonna do to make it different for my children? Because when you hit those hard times, sometimes it's easy to stay in that victim mentality. It's very easy to say, well, you know, things would be better if it wasn't for this, if it wasn't for this. And so um, I said, no, I don't want this for them. I'm going to push on through. So I began to study and learn how to help them to find their purpose and what they're called to do. And I want to give you a statement here, and I'm going to use my notes just a little bit. Um, but there's three key steps to business success as far as I believe that have worked for me, okay, and my family. And as I said, five of them are entrepreneurs now, so it's exciting because it is working. But provision is found by walking in purpose, on purpose, with purpose, passionately, okay? Three things we're gonna talk about. In purpose, on purpose, with purpose, okay? In your purpose, how do you know what your purpose is? And a lot of you probably are business owners here. You know, you may be working in a particular job. You may not be an entrepreneur per se, but I believe everybody has a purpose, okay? Everybody has something that they're passionately about, that they have a passion about, that they want to do. We should get up in the morning and say, yay, I get to go to work. Wouldn't you like to do that, right? Does everybody want to do that? That's what I wanted for my kids. I got one of them right now that he's reaping the rewards of that. He's a videographer, and I was just telling them, I forgot your name, Teresa. I'm sorry, Teresa. Um, I was just telling Teresa that he's in New Zealand right now. He's out there just having fun. He's, he's done his work for the year. He's done enough. He's good to go. I mean, he'll still continue to work, but he's in New Zealand for nine days. And so he's walking in his purpose, on purpose, with purpose, and enjoying his life right now. So uh, very exciting. So what is your purpose? And many times we wonder, how do we know what our purpose is? We don't always hear, go do this, go do that, do we? We don't always know, you know, this is what we're supposed to do. So I want to give you um, a scripture here, actually. And as I said, I'm an ordained minister, and Handy Ministries is my nonprofit. So that is the foundation. I can't really help you to progress if I don't give you those things as well. Because that is what has worked for me. Proverbs 16, 3. Commit your plans to the Lord. He will cause your thoughts to become agreeable to his will so that your plans be established and succeed. What are your plans? It's you that makes the plan. You make a plan and say, this is what I'm going to do. I'm going to go in this direction. And as you step out in that direction, your thoughts will become agreeable to his will when you submitted that to him. And that's what my kids have done. And so they walk in that purpose because they're constantly looking for something else. They're constantly looking for a direction. And they're looking for a plan. They're taking a plan of action. We can think all we want to. And we can have an idea all we want to. But if we don't have action behind the idea, we're not going to have success. And that's, that's the bottom line on that. So to find your purpose, you have to commit your plan and walk out that plan. And your thoughts will actually line up with your purpose. Okay? So on purpose. How do we do it on purpose? On purpose is tough sometimes. And I call this the critic's review a lot of times. Because on purpose means you go against sometimes what everybody else is saying you can do. Okay? When we were homeless, did everybody think that my children could be entrepreneurs? No, not at all. They didn't think we were going to get out of the situation we were in. They couldn't see any way out. We lost pretty much all of our friends. We had two friends who stuck by us during that time. But we had purpose, okay? We were in purpose, on purpose, and we looked past those things. So this is actually, um, instead, God chose the things the world considers foolish in, the order, in order to shame those who think they are wise. And he chose things that are powerless to shame those who are powerful. 1 Corinthians 1.27. Why do you think it is that sometimes those of us who people say, you can't do this, you can't do that, God will choose to actually have you overcome and do that. And the reason he does that is because it shows his power in your life. And it gives glory to him. And that's what my kids have done. They've walked into that. And so there's no way to look at that homeless situation and say, 
wow, these people are entrepreneurs, they're successful, they're doing these things. They've never had that in their family before. So we give him all the glory for that because God chose us to do that because we trusted him in that. We were the foolish in the eyes of many. Those who may be criticizing you where you're at, and I've got to say this because I believe that's the number one dream killer, okay, is the negativity of people. You will meet people in your business, you will meet people in your lives who discourage what you're doing, say you'll never make it to that next level, you'll never be able to do this, or maybe you don't have the education. Um, I'm a homeschool mom, high school education, I don't have a college degree. Okay? I don't have all of that stuff behind me. I don't have a bunch of titles behind my name, nothing like that, but I walked in my purpose. Okay? And when I walked in my purpose, I found my provision, and that's what my children are able to do as well. So don't let the critics discourage you from where you're at. Okay? It's not what you can do, but it's what can be done through you. Okay? Very, very important to keep that in mind because you will always have somebody there to stomp on your dream. There will always be somebody to do that. And I see shaking heads. You know this. <laughs> you know this. You're thinking right now of one or two people in your life that are just challenging. I mean, they just sometimes ruffle your feathers and you go, oh, they're driving me crazy. You give the people the power, okay, when you allow them to ruffle your feathers. And I wrote it down this way. You give people power over your life when you choose their beliefs to become your identity, okay? I'll say that one more time. You give people power over your life when you choose their beliefs to become your identity, okay? Are you in identity crisis, okay? Are you allowing that to hinder your next step? We have to be action-oriented. We have to continue to push through, even if it means it's just us, okay? Even if it means we're walking that alone. Okay. We can still be successful because when you're in your purpose, you will be successful. Absolutely. No doubt about it. Okay? So be confident. When you see those dream killers, don't listen to them. Okay? You listen to what you know. You listen to that purpose that's already birthed in you, and you walk in that. So no matter what business you're in, that's universal. That's for everybody. Okay? Everybody has to believe that for themselves. Number three with purpose, walking with purpose. Romans 8, 28 says, all things work together for good to those who are called into his purpose. All things, even my time of homelessness. Did that work towards my purpose? Absolutely, because I was able to use that to actually minister to people who now are going through similar situations to encourage them to rise up and above. So yes, I experienced that, but that even worked to good to actually bring more provision to me. As I was able to do that, then I got more speaking engagements. I created more products. Some of you may have seen me on Fox 17's The Coupon Lady, you <laughs> already noticed that. Um, I started out with that in 2009. Uh, Stacy Case has had me on there talking about couponing because I was able to save my family $800 a month and lower our grocery bill to $60 a week for eight people. And so that became a source of provision too. But where did that come from? That came from a challenge. That came from all things working together for good. When I was down and out eating from the food banks, I wanted to make a change and I wanted to do something different. So I went out there and I educated myself on how to do that, okay? How to actually save money. And then that became provision. That became about 10 products roughly that I've created around couponing that now is a source of income for me. Um, I have 19 published products roughly now, just getting ready to release a book in a week. I'm really excited about um, I do want to mention this to y'all because you're all going to benefit from this thought. The book is called Judgment Over Rule. People will judge you wherever you go. You will be judged. Sometimes we judge others, okay? We tend to do this and people will judge us. It is a dream killer. It will try and stop you. And the reason I wrote this book because through my journey of these many years, that has happened. It has many times kept me down and out to where I had to drag myself back up by the bootstraps and say, I'm going to push through and I'm going to succeed no matter what. So judgment over rule. We have to examine ourselves. Be careful what we judge. We don't know the path someone else is walking. You know, in business, you know, you may meet somebody not understand why they're doing the things they're doing, why they're reacting the way they're reacting. We don't know their story. Okay? We have to be very clear that we are transparent with people, okay? and that that will bring transformation into our own lives as well. Sometimes the bar is so high, okay? we put that bar so high for people that we, we put on this mask and we walk around, my life is perfect, I got it all together. <laughs> we all do this, okay? We look at people and we think, 
we can just sum them up. We can look at them. We got it figured out. We don't have it figured out, y'all. Okay, <laughs> we don't have it figured out because people have a story. Okay, they go through things. They have challenges. There is nobody that has a perfect life. You don't want somebody else's journey. So be careful. You know when you do that in business, when you judge people in personal life as well. But it can be very damaging to someone. So I'm a, a real transparent person. You know, I speak from experience, and I've learned that those things can hurt, and they can delay the destiny. They can delay the dream. They can delay the calling and the purpose that's on your life. Be careful when you, you know, look at other people as well. You don't want that to happen in your life. You got to watch what you do, and we all catch ourselves doing it. So this book um, is is going to be exciting when it comes out, talking about that and helping people to get through that. Because I believe, you know, completely that we need to be walking in our purpose. Um, I want to show a couple of things that I just brought with me. I didn't bring much, but um, this coupon manual. I've got some coupon products. Yay, I like coupons. <laughs> All right, guys, do this too. My one who's in New Zealand, yes, he is a couponer. This boy saves money. He knows how to do it. Um, he told me about how to save money on travel and all kinds of stuff. And, and I'm like, where'd you learn that at? Because he, he learned from Mama how to do this couponing stuff. Um, and this particular book is Exploding into Successful Entrepreneurship. This is the book that I wrote around my children and the journey with teaching them. I do teach it at Women Entrepreneur Things, um, teach at Women Empowerment Events, churches, all kinds of things. It has a companion workbook that actually goes with it. We were just talking here um, about the workbook or about how you write things down. That's important in business, okay? We need to have goals, short term, long term. We need to write things down. When we write it down, we can really penetrate it through our minds, okay? It, it just works in there better. If we just run it on through, I'm always telling my kids, I say, well, I know I won't forget. Yeah, you will. Yeah, you will. Write it down. You know, we've got to see. We've got to visualize it. So write it down. Write your goal and run after that goal. Uh, I think that's how much time do I have on my, am I on it? Because I, <laughs> okay. I can talk forever. Um, but anyway, that, that's my story. And so I just want to encourage